So let's get this Audi TT in the rain with over 100,000 miles on the clock to do the best 0 to 60 time we can possibly get it. Let's go. Guys, welcome back again to another video. Before we start, obviously all the time, if you've not clicked subscribe and it doesn't say subscribed underneath, make sure you go now and just click that subscribe button before we kick off today's video. Now, let's go outside. We've got a few things to do today. Uh, before we start the video, we have actually got to go and fit this. It's actually a number plate. I'll show you it. Let's go outside. So there it is. The TT, you all know you all love or all hate. So let's fit this number plate before we even start today's video. So guys, here's, so guys, here is the number plate supplied by signature.co.uk. I'll put the link right here and I'll put a link in the description as well. Now these guys are like a family friend, so it's giving me it like a proper discounted rate, but they supply all sorts of like customized plates, show plates, um, 3D plates like this, tinted plates, all sorts of stuff. So they have hooked me up with this, the classic the MA06 BMX. Now I wasn't going to put it on this car because I'm not going to be, uh, this isn't going to be my main car. Obviously I'm, you know, you guys know I'm going to be buying another car later on. But what we've decided is that I am going to put it on this one. So I'll be taking this one to shows, doing all sorts of bits and bobs to it. And when I get my new car, I will be buying a new plate for that. So as for now, this has got to go onto there. So let's fit it. So guys, the number plate is on, it looks sick. It completely transforms the car, like from having the standard number plate to something like that, it makes the car look so different. Let's get on with the main topic of the video. On, my battery on this camera is literally on the last legs. So I know that this needs fuel and I know I'm gonna need fuel for what we're about to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put you guys on charge. I'm gonna run off, go to the fuel, uh, go to the petrol station, fill up, come back, and then we should be pretty much charged and ready to film the rest of this video. Let's go. Whoa. So, right guys, that fuel um, fill up, well that fill up turned into something which I thought it was going to take five minutes, it ended up, I went to go get some food, came back, started getting dark, so I abandoned filming later that day. So now it's the day after, and I don't know if you can see, or you could probably actually hear it, it's raining, which actually completely balls up what I wanted to film today, but you know what? I'm just going to send it for you guys, guys anyway. I'm still going to send it. I'm still going to send it. <laughs> so basically what we're trying to do today is we're going to test out. I've got an app on the phone. It's got quite good reviews. I'll show you it in a minute. But I want to sort of test out the realistic figures of a 0 to 60 time. Now it is, it is wet, which obviously is going to affect it. And also um, the other thing that's going to affect it is that it's, uh, it's wet. So is going to affect it a lot. Like when you when you get these 0 to, 0 to 60 times which are um, which Audi give out or the manufacturer actually give out to you, they're all done under really controlled environments. So I have been told that like even like the miles to gallon ones, they're done on like a completely flat road surface. All the joints and um, holes in the car are all taped up. The, all the passenger seats, the carpets and everything are taken out of the car just so you can get the maximum miles to gallon the car can get. Now, I don't know whether it's the same with 0 to 60 times, but I know that you're never gonna get the same 0 to 60 time the manufacturer is saying you can get for, and what you can actually get on the real road. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and find a reasonably straight private road. Basically the best sort of place I can find to do a 0 to 60 time and uh, try and do it in the wet. If you guys enjoy this video and um, we're quite interested in it, give me a thumbs up. If we get over 100, let, let's say, um, no, let's say, if we get over 200 thumbs up, we'll come back and we'll do it in the dry and we can see what we can get. 
Now the interesting thing about this one is that this Audi TT, if you've not been watching in the previous videos, you know that it's been written off um, before and uh, I brought it back to life and it's actually got over 100,000 miles on it. So this is all things to, 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 to take into consideration. So obviously the wear and tear of the engine and also the tyres. I don't know what tyres are on this thing at all. They're probably just budget ones. We'll go and film it in a minute. Let me just get to the location and I'll check back with you then. So we are at the undisclosed private road location, which is a very, very loud and noisy. So if we get a lot of road noise, I'm very sorry for this. But, but we're doing it for the tube. We're doing it for the YouTube. So make sure you have clicked the subscribe button and you click the thumbs up. Now we're going to be a quick walk round. Now guys, if you haven't watched any of the TT videos or anything before that, you would know that this car, performance wise, is completely standard. There's uh, not one single performance modification on this car. Um, unless you class lowering springs as a performance modification, then there is lowering springs. If you missed that video, top right hand corner now. So, what we've got here is the tyres. The tyres, I'm sure they're good quality. Um, what are they? Bra Bravarus. We've got Bravarus tyres on the front to provide that fantastic grip that we're going to need. And uh, Sportex tyres on the back quality brands that I've definitely heard of before. We've got no induction kit, nothing on the engine as standard. The car is completely standard with 111,000 miles on it. Now what I'm gonna do, we've got a nice straight bit of road here. Nice straight bit of road. We're obviously in the complete soaking wet. We're gonna have to take into consideration how wet it is and that the time will be slightly off. Okay guys, so we're pretty much set up. The car's warmed up. We have got, um, just over half a tank of fuel um, and this is a two litre FSI Audi TT 2006. We're on 112,000 miles. Let's turn the radio off. Let's turn the fans off. Let's turn the traction control off. So guys, the figures you want to know from standard is, it's supposedly, so if you can see here, not me, focus on that. So the power on here, on Parker's website is 197 bhp from standard and the 0 to 60 is 6.4 seconds as you can see now we're going to try and get as close to that as possible so the app i've got is called drag racer um it's got like five star reviews on on the play store so i've just clicked on it now it's waiting for gps it's meant to be pretty accurate um, i've not used it before and this is not an ad or anything like that. I've not used it, I've just seen it online. I thought this would be pretty cool for a uh, video idea. So right, ready for the race. So it's got the list here of like the, the speed to 10 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour and 70 mile an hour. Um, and the speed you're currently doing at the minute. It's meant to be pretty accurate, it's got all good reviews. So we're gonna go by this app. And obviously the manufacturers would not be going by this app. Maybe they use a rolling road, I don't actually know. So let's get this Audi TT in the rain with over 100,000 miles on the clock to do the best 0 to 60 time we can possibly get it. Let's go. This is not really a way I can launch it. You got, there's probably some track day guys here which I'm probably doing it the wrong way but I'm gonna hold the handbrake up, sort of get the revs and just drop the handbrake and just fucking go for it. Right, here we go. <laughs> Failed attempt, we'll go again. So guys, we're gonna have to go with the traction control light on because I didn't get anywhere. I had my foot to the floor, we was redlining, and we just weren't getting anywhere. So let's see what we can do with the traction control light on. Here we go. didn't actually get to 60 mile an hour unfortunately we ran out of road we might have to go find a bigger road obviously we ran out of road then we nearly got to 60 but the results are in from we got to 40 seconds we got to 40 mile an hour and what we can see is um 
So on that last run, uh, on that last run, we got to 40 mile an hour in 3.8 seconds. So to get to 60, we might actually be not far off that six point, was it four seconds the manufacturer is saying? And this is in the wet as well. So we might not actually be that far off. So let's go get some more road and let's do this test one more time. Let's go. Okay guys, let's get this second test on the go. Nought to 60 time, let's do it. Wheels spinning, wheels spinning. Still wheels spinning, traction control has kicked in. We've got to six there. Not a bad time guys, not a bad time. I'm gonna leave it at that time and check back with you and show you the results. Not a bad one at all that one in the wet. And my gear changes aren't the best. So let me let me check back with you when I show you the time. So actually, the results are in from in the wet. We've got we had two results. Now let me tell you the first result was um pretty shocking. I mean we just wheel spun a lot. Um obviously we nearly we nearly did it on the other road, um, but we had the traction control light turned off, which just didn't work in this wet. So we had to have the traction control light on. We still wheel spun a whole lot, but we actually managed to get 0 to 60 in the on the first lot in about 10.2 seconds, which was absolutely woeful. So in the second time, in the second time, I sort of learned from the mistakes, got the gear changes a little bit better, and I was shifting a little bit earlier because the wheels were just spinning up. And in the second time, we actually managed a 0 to 60 of, so here's the best times down here, and here's the 60, 0 to 60 mile an hour. We got to 7.8 seconds, you can see there. Oh. 7.8 seconds, which I'm not actually that disappointed. It's saying the GPS is 100% accurate and it's got a lot of good reviews, this app. But if you guys want to see me do this in the dry, which I actually do want to do, let's get 200 thumbs up on this video and we'll go and test it out in the dry and see what we can do. Obviously, there's loads of other aspects we could do to make this better. We could take the shoelaces off my shoes. I could take my hoodie off. I could take my hat off. We could take all the shit out of the car and we can try and get the best 0 to 60 time we can. But... I we're not about that, we want to see realistically what can we actually get. And this car's done 112,000 miles and it is bloody a 2006. To get 7.8 seconds in the wet, that's actually pretty impressive. Bearing in mind the standard 0 to 60 time from factory is saying 6.4 seconds. So just over a second loss and that's in the wet. So we might actually realistically be able to get the manufactured time. If it was in the dry, we had half decent tyres and um, I'm... I actually improve on my driving skills but guys if you want to try this at home and I want to see the figures that you guys can get with this app so download Drag Racer um, it's on Android it might be on um, iPhone as well but download Drag Racer and um, do your own 0 to 60 time and let me know your um, com let me know your times in the comments below and what car you've got and how close they are to the ma actual manufacture time guys this has been quite an interesting video for me I, I wish it was a lot drier so we could do it I wish it was drier so we could do it in the dry and get a more accurate result, but that it, unfortunately, I've only got time to film on Saturdays and Sundays and it's come across as being rainy. So, guys, I hope you like this video. There's plenty more modifications to come on the Audi TT, as you well know, so make sure you click subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.